Hey guys, this is Pragya Sukhdati. I'm back after a long break from YouTube. Welcome to my channel Power Your Share Point. In today's video, I'm going to explain how to set the lookup ID column in the SharePoint document library. In my previous video, I have explained how to attach any type of file from Power Apps to SharePoint on a single button click. I'll provide the link on the description box and on the top of the video. So now let's see how this works. My introduction. So this is the app which I have built earlier. With this paper clip or the attachment icon, I have added few controls here. Like project name, you can add as many controls as required to create a project or to create a record in the SharePoint list. So let's see how it works first. I'll attach a file. Let's add to the SharePoint document library first. Let's open the SharePoint. This is my SharePoint site. Let's go to the documents. This file is created few seconds ago. Now I'll create a project. Let's create this one. Now let's check in the project information and the ID is 19 for this project. Now let's check in the document library. The project ID is here. In my previous video on the on our file of this attachment control, I've written this code to attach the file, I have used this Power Automate flow that is save file. Let's go to the Power Automate flow. That was a two step flow from Power Apps, then create file. I've explained that how to do this step. Now I have added one more step in this flow. I've added an output here, text. Then I have saved the item ID. It means the item ID of the attachment of the document library, which is going to save in this document item ID. I have taken a variable here. Next step, I'll explain how I have used this document item ID. So let's go to Power Apps. As I will show here, how to attach a file for project. For that, I've created a SharePoint list in my SharePoint site, that is project information, and renamed the title column as project name and made the ID column visible for your reference. And this ID column will be a lookup column in my documents list. That is project ID. If we'll go to the site settings, sorry, library settings, you can see here the project ID is a lookup column. From the project information list and in this column ID. So now let's go to Power Apps. How we have done this. For this, I will just modify the same code which I have written on the owner file property of the attachment control. For that, I'll create a temporary collection. 
by using collect function collect all doc IDs and will store all the IDs which we attach using this automate flow save file. And they will be stored in the document item ID. In that collection, we'll have ID column and also the name column. The name will be stored the same as the last attachment control dot attachments dot name. So for this, I'll just remove the earlier Power Automate code. I have created here another collection called created project record. In this, I store all the project information which we create using this text input. So let's copy this collection. Again, I'll add this in a blank gallery. And in the items property, I'll add that collection. Let's add a label here. Now let's add a project. Suppose demo project. Let's create this one. This is demo project and the ID is 20. Now I want this ID 20. So come here and the ID will be a lookup in this document list as I have shown you. For this, I've written here a condition. I'm counting the rows of the collection call doc IDs, which is one, that is greater than zero. Whichever attachment I have added in the call doc IDs collection, that ID will be stored in a new collection. If I'll go for this call new doc IDs collection, you can notice only the attachment item ID will be there. That means the 228, the document item ID will be stored in call new doc IDs new collection. And for this, I'll pass all the IDs from the call new doc IDs collection in a new flow that is update project ID along with the JSON include the binary data which will help me to update the project ID in the document library. So let's see the flow. This is the flow which I have made but I'll make a separate flow for you which will make you to understand better so instant cloud flow now we'll give the name as update project id power apps create add a new step initialize a variable i'll give a variable name as add doc ids and this is a document ID array. That's why the type is array. And the value is ask in Power Apps. Next, the new step. Again, I'm initializing another variable. Variable name is project ID. 
and project ID is an integer. Again, the value is ask in power apps. Again, the new step parse JSON and the content will be the variable R doc IDs and I'll pass a schema here in which the type is array and the items type is object and the properties of the document ID is the type is string and here I'll add a new step as this is an array of document ID that's why I'm attaching apply to H as all the attachment ID will be attached to the same project ID for that here we'll take the body of the parse station and I'll add an action that is update file properties. I'll add the site address in which I am attaching the file, the document library name, which is documents, and the ID is ID is the formula I'll add an expression here in items of apply to page the document item ID and press OK Go to the expression, I'll add a formula here, int items apply to H to the document item ID and click on OK. And the project ID, ID will be the project ID, the variable. Now let's save the flow. Now in the create project button, add the flow along with this formula and it will help us to attach the ID in the document library. So let's let me add a new project. and click on create project. Now let's check in the, first we'll check on the project information list. So the project ID is 21 and let's check in the documents. These two documents are assigned the project ID 21. So in this way, we can add the project ID. Also, we can add several other properties of the file. I hope you guys like this concept and like the approach I have taken to add the project ID. Please like, share and comment on this video and you can suggest me to grow my channel. Thank you.